Good morning and welcome to Be Fit Live. This is the Wednesday edition. Hope you all had a great weekend and enjoyed your Monday holiday. So today it's Workout Wednesday. We have Roy Montez, our Be Fit ambassador, and his guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. She is um, active duty Air Force who is assigned here at the Exchange Headquarters building. So. They are coming to you from their homes to show you a, an at-home workout that can be done with body weights or light weights or whatever you prefer. So with that, Roy, how are you guys doing? Sergeant Barry? Hi. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Leah. How are you? It's so good to be back this Wednesday. Good deal. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? Hi. Good, Leah. Thanks. I'm excited to work out. Good week work out, rather. Good deal. Roy, are you ready to get started? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Let's kick things off. All right. So today we're, we're, we're building off each week. And uh, again, we're hitting our total body workout today. We're touching everything from our back, our biceps, our shoulders, our legs, and our core. Again, uh, if you're anything like me, I've been seated for a little longer than usual. I may have been in uh, a car ride where uh, I'm traveling a little bit longer than I'm normally used to. So again, my hips are tight. My, my, um, just my, my whole body's tight from seated and, and sitting. So um, I'm going to run through uh, the exercise for today. And then we'll go into a dynamic stretch to get the body moving, to get the mind uh, ready to work. And then we will flow directly into our workout. So for today's workout, we have 40 seconds on. 20 seconds off, that's our format. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds and one minute of rest in between each round. And so that'll put us roughly just under 20 minutes, 20 minutes of hard work, okay? So our first exercise will be a bicep lunge to overhead press, okay? Our second is gonna be an alternating uh, bent over row. So for 20 seconds each uh, arm, we're gonna be rowing. Our third is gonna be a lateral squat. So from side to side movements, because we don't always work forward to backward, we need to be able to pivot and move left to right. So that will help out a lot, uh, lateral squats that is. And our fourth is a seated core twist, uh, a variation from a plank, but we'll be seated, we'll be uh, reclined back in let's say a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna be holding our core twist. So I'll demonstrate four of these uh, these four exercises and then we'll uh, take a break, go into some dynamic stretching and get ready to work, okay? So our bicep to lunge press, it will be our first, our first rolling up. And so if you don't have any weights, that's okay. Just go ahead and make your fist here. We are going to hammer curl up just like this as if uh, our, our waiter is now racked. We're gonna take that lunge forward, back, extend all the way up to the top and then overhead press here. So we're trying to maximize uh, the amounts of movements because uh, we may be pressed for time. So down to start, curl up, lunge, back up and overhead press. So that's the idea is maximizing our time here. Alternating bent over row. Again, if you don't have any weight here, just make your fist and really, um, really focus on the contraction up top. So really focus on holding that up top. If you don't have any weight, if you do, uh, go ahead and work with us. I'll be using some dumbbells. Uh, Sergeant Barry also will be using a little bit of resistance as well. Lateral squat here. We're going to take a nice wide stance for our lateral squat. And we are just going to sway over to our right. Again, really focusing on hinging at the hips here. Our butt's going to be back. And we are over our quad here. Left to right here. Okay. Nice and smooth. Nice and controlled and the seated core twist. We're gonna go ahead and take this seat here. Our feet are gonna be straight. I'll adjust that camera. And we are gonna recline back at 45 degrees and we are going to twist over to our left, hold for three seconds, and then twist over to our right, hold for three seconds. Okay, left, two, three, and then right, two, three. Okay, for a total of 40 seconds of work. Again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 
four rounds in total and a minute's worth of rest in between each round to hydrate, to towel off, to get focused, to reset, and to be able to tackle that next round, okay? So let's go ahead and go into some dynamic stretching. We'll get our body nice and warm, ready to work. Our mindset's focused here. So let me grab some water real quick. Again, I'm working from outside and Sergeant Barry from indoors. So these workouts can be completed anywhere that you are at. That's the idea. We don't have a, a lot of space to take up. So you are fine with minimal space here. So let's go ahead and do some dynamic stretching here. Let's go ahead and do some knee hugs here. So my right knee is up. I'm hugging. I'm losing balance, but I'm hugging. Let's try and wake this body up. Try and wake this body up and get ready to work here. Again, if you're losing balance, try and tighten that core. Focus on some core stability with that balance. But you're also trying to open up these hips here. Again, if I've been I've been seated for a little a little while longer than I'm used to. So I'm just taking this time to really feel out my body, to really connect with my body and my muscle groups. Just getting it ready to work here, okay? Let's go ahead and take a big lunge back. We're gonna do some reverse lunge overhead reaches here. So my right leg is going back nice and long. I'm dropping down and I'm reaching all the way over to my left side here. My right leg is back and my left, my right arm is reaching over again. Taking your time here, feeling out how your body is responding. Just getting it ready, ready to work here. Again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off is what we're looking for today. Four exercises, under 20 minutes in total. So we can get our work in. We'll get out and get on with our daily activities, but just knowing that you're putting aside time for you here, for your health and wellness. Just one more here. I'm gonna take advantage of these, sit in a little bit longer, hips are pushed forward, slice even stretch. Really warming up those glutes here. All right. All right, since we're going into some shoulder work here. Let's go into YTWs here. So we're gonna take our arms. We're gonna make a big Y here, stretch nice and out. Nice and even to make a Y, back to center. Nice and open for a T, really squeezing that back here. And then a W here. Really focusing on your shoulders. You should feel your back warm up and you're back down to start. Let's go again, big Y, back to center. T and your W here. Again, focusing on the top of these movements. Focus on your shoulders, your mobility here, your back contracting. All right, let's go one more. I T and the W here. All right, and with that, let's go right into some shoulder rolls. Start off small. And we're working to larger circles here. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go ahead and reverse. Start off small. Let's let our body know that we're about to work here. With those shoulder presses, this will be a nice warm up to get some blood flow into our shoulders, into our arms, into our back. Okay, let's move into some air squats here just to get these legs moving a little bit more. There we go. Nice and smooth at your pace here. Hinging back at the hips, lead backwards first, all the way down to your comfort level. There we go. Nine. All right, let's shake it out. Let's towel off, let's get some water and let's go to work here. Mm. I know I've been drinking a lot more water than usual. That's a, 
a sure sign that, <laughs> that my body is craving it. I'm trying to stay hydrated during these seasons changing and, and weather here. So let me start my timer. Sergeant Barry, we ready to go? Hey, we're ready to go. All right, Deep Fit Nation, let's go. Okay, <laughs> 10 seconds on the clock here. Bicep lunge to press in 10. Again, um, if you don't have any weight, go ahead and make that fist. In three, two, one, bicep curl up top, lunge all the way out, extend up top and overhead press. Okay, and back to start, keep going here. Bicep lunge to overhead press. There we go. Oops. Don't lose me. Don't wait for me here. <laughs> All right, back to start again. Bicep curl, lunging out, extending overhead press. Three more seconds here. Two, one, and time. All right, good work. 20 seconds of rest here, and we will go directly into an alternating bent over row. Again, if you don't have any weights, let's go ahead and make that fist. Alternating bent over row in five. Okay, three and let's work. I'm gonna go ahead and rescale this here. All right, 34 seconds on the clock here. There you go, good work, Sergeant Barry. Twenty-three seconds left. <laughs> All right, I see a little challenge here. Fourteen seconds on the clock. Eight seconds here. Five. And time. Twenty seconds of rest here. Now that that's settled and. Straightened out, 15 seconds of rest. I'm gonna adjust this for you. All right, 10 seconds of rest here and we're gonna go into a lateral squat. We are, our feet are more than shoulder width apart here. We are centered at top. We are balancing, counterbalancing and let's work here. We are going to go over to our right and then back up to center. Again, our chest is gonna hover right over our quad, whichever direction we're going. Our arms are straight out in front of us. Our spine is nice and straight. Our back is flat. Again, we're going at our own pace here. First set, we learn it. Second set, we own it. Third and fourth, we'll challenge ourselves. All right, 10 more seconds here. I'm gonna go ahead and raise my tempo. Five, feel that quad work here, two, and let's rest here. 20 seconds of rest here and we will go into a seated core twist. Again, 10 seconds here. We are seated, our legs are straight out. We're reclined back at a 45 degree angle in three. Our hands are behind our backs, or behind our heads, excuse me. All right, let's work here. I'm, I'm twisting over to my left. One, two, three. All right, back to top and twisting over to my right. One two, three. All right, there we go. Keep that core engaged. Again, lean back to comfort. If you need a little less resistance, go ahead and seat up a little bit more. And let's try and hollow off that back here, round it out a little bit to give your core that crunch. Hold those pauses. Three more seconds, two, one, all right, good work. We've earned ourselves one minute of rest here. Again, first, first round, we learned it. Second round, we will own it. Grab water, towel off. Now that we know the exercise, now that we know the movements that we're gonna be tackling, we can really push forward here. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds of rest, and we'll go into that bicep lunge to overhead press. Again, if you're just joining us, we are going through four exercises here, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three more rounds to go. You're catching us on our 22nd left break. 
and then we'll go right to work here. If you're just joining us, let us know where you're watching from. Nine more seconds here. Let me get my weights ready. Bicep curl to lunge to overhead press in two, one. All right, I'm working here. Bicep curl, lunge, overhead press, back to start. A couple of movements here. Again, we're trying to maximize our time and our efforts and our movements here. Bicep curl, lunge all the way out here and overhead press. And you don't need weight to accomplish this movement. But if you'd like to make it a little more challenging, let's go ahead and add some resistance here. Seven more seconds here. Good work, I'm getting one more rep in. And time. All right. Good work, good work. I'm handing, I'm hanging on to my dumbbells because I have alternating bent over rows in 10. Put some more work onto my hand grip here. Again, I'm sticking with it here. Alt, alt bent over rows. Let's work. 40 seconds of work here. If you have one plate like Sergeant Barry, go ahead and hit one side for 20 seconds and then hit the other side for 20 seconds. If you have dumbbells, kettlebells, gallons of water, go ahead and use anything that you can. 20 seconds in, go ahead and alternate. There we go. Nice and controlled at your own pace. Again, I'm hinging at the hips here for this bent over row. And I'm pulling up and you should feel that contraction in your lats. And time, 40 seconds of work complete. Good work, good work. All right. We're taking that wide stance for those lateral squats in 10. Okay, two, one. Let's work, my hands are in front of me. I'm leaning over to my right, back to my center, over to my left. Again, keeping that weight more so on that heel of your foot. Leaning over to your comfort Again, your chest is upright, your head is in a neutral position. A key here to keep your spine nice and long and your back flat. No shoulders rolling, no back arching. Nice and straight here and nice and controlled. Good work, three more seconds here. And time, good work. All right, seated core twist is up next. I'm gonna go ahead and face this way. Let me get ready, down. We're down in eight. All right, I'm back. Hands are behind my head and let's work here. I'm twisting to my right, one, two, three second pause, back to center, reset, and twist over to my left. Three seconds here. Again, you really wanna keep your core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Think of, uh, think of your planks here. Think of your planks. Your core is always nice and tight, nice and engaged. Keep those legs as straight as possible. You wanna engage them, activate them. And if three second hold is too long, go ahead and just take one second. Two, one, and time. Good work. Great, excellent work, excellent work. We need to stay down here a little bit longer. <laughs> Go ahead. You've earned it for that round. You've earned it for that round. <laughs> All right. Again, stay hydrated. If you find any sore spots or any tight areas that you need to work out, now's the time in between sets. I'm gonna go ahead and quad stretch here. My hips are still a little bit of tight, so. I'm stretching out again. The more you push your hips forward here, the more you'll feel that stretch in your psoas, in your hip flexors. 10 more seconds of rest here and we will go into bicep lunge to press. All right, here we go. In four, three. Okay, let's work here. Bicep curl, 
lunge out here, nice and controlled overhead press. Okay, bicep curl, lunge out, top of the lunge, overhead press, back to start. Nice down, nice and controlled here. So we're fortunate here, we're able to activate and work our lower body. We've done lunges both many times in this workout before, so we should be familiar with lunges here. We've done shoulder presses. I don't know if we've isolated our biceps here and time, but this is a great exercise to get more than one muscle group working here. Bent over rows are up next in 10. All right, in four. And let's work here. I'm hinging at the hips. My spine is nice and long. My back is flat and I'm rowing here. Really squeezing at the top. Feeling those lats activate here. Let's go at your pace. Nice and controlled though. We're working on quality, quality over quantity. 16 more seconds of work. Feel it in the burn here. Woo. Let's remember to keep that <clears throat> head nice and neutral. Two, one, time. Good work. Excellent work. All right. Back to our lower body. We have lateral lunges, lateral squats in five. Nice wide stance here to your comfort level. I'm going to my right and I'm lunging. I'm lunging over my right. My chest again is over my quad. My knees are tracking my toes here. My chest is forward to your pace here. My head is in a neutral position, making my spine nice and long and my back flat here. Good work, good work. Keep it up, halfway there. Good. At the top, pause, reset. Let's get that mind to muscle connection. We should feel it in our glutes and our quads. Two, one, finish out and time. All right, 40 seconds of work there. Finishing up round three with core twists. Core twists in seven. All right, my feet are nice and extended. My legs are out, contracted, I'm tightening up everything. I'm leaning back and I'm working here. 40 seconds of work, two, three, taking advantage of the pause. Time under tension here. We are forcing our muscles, our core to try and stabilize with that pause. Adding a little more tension and in turn making it a little bit more difficult for us to hold, okay. There you go. If three seconds are too long, go ahead and do a second. Three seconds are too easy. Go ahead and do five or eight, two, one, and time. Good work. Good work. Excellent job. All right. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Everybody with us? Second like to last round there. Right. They're challenging. You do. It's good. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Think of a plank like we are, just like last week, really held that plank position down there. Our, our cores are engaged, our, our glutes are nice and tight and activated. That's the position that we wanna hold with that, with that decline, with that, well, that reclining position. Mm -hmm. All right, 16 seconds here. Hydrate, cool off, catch your breath. Make this last set your best set. Up the weight if you have it. Let's finish strong. Bicep, bicep curl lunge press here. All right, let's work here. I'm curling, lunging. There we go. 
And if you guys are just joining us, um, you can leave comments and I'll read them out loud to Roy. If you have questions, um, any modifications that you might need, or if you just want to know um, about something else, let us know and I'll read those out loud to Roy. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know which exercises you like more. With five seconds left on the clock here, we're finishing out strong. And time. Good work. I'm holding on to my weights here because we have alternating bent over rows. Again, this is a great way to tackle your back, specifically your lats. You're also keeping that core engaged. So do not think that we're just doing core work with that last set. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Keep that core nice and tight. Let's try and keep that back flat. We're hinging at the hips with a soft bend on our knees. And we're pulling up nice and tight here. Nice and tight, close to our body. 17 more seconds of work here. If you need to alternate, go ahead. 10 more seconds, finish strong. Last set here. Three. Two, my lats are on fire. All right, way to finish. All right, put that resistance off to the side because we are done with that. 10 seconds of rest. We're taking a nice big stance here for our lateral squats. Lateral lunges, lateral squats. All right, 40 seconds on the clock, we're working here. I'm over to my right. Back to center, refocus. Again, really focus on driving through that heel, up through your posterior chain, up through your calves, up through your hamstrings, and extending all the way up top through your glutes there. You should also feel that activation in your quad, in your, in your quad, absolutely. Again, let's make it a point here to keep our chest nice and tall, nice and forward. Our head is forward in a neutral position. Two, one, and time. Good work. 40 seconds in, halfway there. Last set. 10 more seconds of rest. Last set. Last rep. <laughs> last round, last set, best set. There we go. We're on the ground. Our core is engaged. Our legs are out. And we're twisting here. Two. Three, up top. One, two, three. There we go. Lean back to your comfort level here. Try and really activate that core as if you were doing a crunch here. Keep those elbows nice and wide if you can. If not, that's okay. Maybe they're at your chest here. There we go. Six more seconds. Let's finish strong. Three, two, one. Good work. Good work. All right. Wow. That core work left me on fire. <laughs> All right, DFIT Nation. Good work. Good work. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you completed all four exercises again. Exercise number one, we took advantage of our time and our movement. So we combined, we did a combination of three movements into that one exercise, a bicep curl, into a lunge, into an overhead press. We hit our lower body, we hit our arms, we hit our shoulders for that one. An alternating bent over row, hinging at the hips. Our focus was on our back for our pull, okay? Our lateral squats, we went back down to our lower body position and we actually targeted the outside of our legs at this time. We, we hit everything, but more specifically, when you drove up, you felt that, that outside on your quad and then the seated core twist to round out that, <laughs> that workout. So what a great workout. I, I know with that seated core twist, that absolutely just brought everything together for me to activate my core and engaged uh, everything like that. So <laughs> what a workout.
Roy, I just wanted Pleasure. to say again, thank you so much for helping me with my fitness journey, um, but just making it available to so many people. Um, it's very grateful for that. So thank you. And Absolutely. Leah too. Thank you. Thanks for joining us every week. <laughs> Yes, awesome. ma'am. And, and that's, and that's the idea here is, is we're trying to bring fitness, uh, you, you and I, you know, we're trying to show, uh, individuals that, you know, it doesn't take much area. It doesn't take much room. If you're in your house, if you're outdoors, if you're ever to step out, if you have any resistance, if you don't, that's okay. Just keep moving, keep progressing forward is forward and little goals that, that you set wow. each week can each, each micro goal can add up to that macro goal that you're trying to accomplish as far as your health and your wellness. And so, you know, that, that's, that's the goal here is, is, is it, as a team, as a community, we're here to help support each other. Leave comments if, if you're here uh, supporting one another. I mean, that's, that's what we're about. So uh, again, we, we, we're stronger together and we're stronger as a team. So uh, BFIT Nation is, 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 is one team, one goal, one fight. <laughs> Great words, Roy. Thank you so much. I feel so motivated now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Okay. Well, it has been a pleasure today on this workout Wednesday, but it doesn't look like we have any comments. So if you guys okay. think of something later that you would like to know or like to ask, just let us know. We'll still monitor this thread throughout um, the week and the coming days. So Thank you so much for joining us and thanks Roy. Thanks Sergeant Barry. And we will see you guys on Monday next week. Absolutely. See you guys Monday. Bye. Bye everyone.